Hey everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever because I've been on vacation to Disney World. So it's glad I'm glad to be back home making videos for you guys. And I did a Dollar Tree haul a little bit before we left, and that's what I have again for you guys today. Because the day after we got home from Disney, I headed I headed straight to the Dollar Tree to see if they had gotten anything good while I was gone. And they did. It's not as big as my last haul, but they had quite a few good things. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I picked up at the Dollar Tree. So I always hit up the book and educational section. That's my favorite part of Dollar Tree. And so I found some new books that I had never seen there before. And the first one is a children's devotional. And we've got lots of devotionals and lots of different types of Bible books. But I thought this one was really neat because the lessons are really short. Um, and I just thought it would be something easy that we could go through together as part of school or just at bedtime or something like that. So I picked up that. And also they had these really neat um, like sticker Bible books. So they have the story of David. I got, well, they had, they might have had another one. I think they had one or two more, but I just picked up the story of David, miracles of Jesus, the story of Noah, story of creation, the story of Joseph and Mary and Joseph. And what's neat about these is it's an activity book and it tells the story of those Bible characters, but then it also has uh, of course it's color but it also has stickers that you go through when you're going through the activities and you find the right page the right sticker on the right page and put it on there and i just thought it was a really fun interactive way to reinforce those you know basic classic bible stories and so i picked up those the next thing i have to show you i think i had six of them but the girls ran off with the other ones and these are the only ones left that i was able to get from them um, but they're these like activity books that have facts about animals or whatever the book is about and then stickers so this one is wild animals it's a really pretty glossy book and it has cute little activities and tidbits of information about whatever the book is about and then it has these little blank spots that you have to go through and see they've taken the stickers already um but you have to go through and find the the sticker that matches like the little silhouette that's missing so i thought it was a really fun way to mix in an educational book with a fun activity book so I, we got wild animals um, we also got bugs and spiders. There was a space one that we got, um, an under the sea one, and a solar system. And it seems like I'm missing one that I can't think of. But they also had a dinosaur one and a construction one. Like a child in your life that likes dinosaurs or construction tools or something like that, they would probably also like those books as well. But we did not get those. But I thought these were really pretty nice, high quality books. And anything with stickers in our house is always a big hit. So we picked up those. And then I got the first, I think this is the first thing for Christmas 2017. I picked up these fuzzy pins for my girls' stockings. This one will be my oldest daughter's, and this one will be my youngest daughter's because it's got more pink. But I used to collect pens and pencils, and I have tons of them that I didn't use for years and years. And I'm finally letting my girls like sharpen them and use them because somebody needs to enjoy them. But they really like unique pens and pencils as well. And I thought these were really cute, and for a dollar, they would be perfect for their stockings. I also picked up some more of the Jot brand um, whiteout pens. My whiteout pens keep, keep getting stolen from my desk. Um, so I picked up two more that hopefully I will actually get to use. And they're really good quality. I talked about this before. I really like the Jot brand Dollar Tree whiteout correction pens. And even though the Dollar Tree sells like the Bic brand whiteout fluid, uh, the ones I have I've always gotten from there have been really watery and this one is really opaque and I like the pen squeezy style so I picked up more of those. I also got some band-aids. Um, we got the emoji ones because you know emojis are all the rage. They even have the little poo-poo guy. I'm gonna sneeze. It's allergy season here and I am struggling. We, as soon as we got back like on the way home from Florida we started to sneeze on the way home just <laughs> coming between Georgia and Tennessee and getting back to Kentucky, my husband and I both started sneezing. So it's still allergy season. So if I sound stuffy or if I sneeze, I'm sorry. Uh, the next thing I picked up, which I've never gotten anything like this before. I, and if I've ever done anything, anything like this before at home, it's only been with just baking soda. But I found this Arm & Hammer with OxyClean Dirt Fighters Pet Fresh Carpet Odor Eliminator. I just thought I would try it. It's supposed to loosen and lift up to 25% more dirt out of your carpet and then just deodorize and freshen your carpet. So even though we don't wear shoes in the house, except my workout shoes, which never get worn outside, um, it's still, sometimes your carpet still gets dirt and it needs, gets dust on it and it gets some pet odor sometimes. So I thought I would pick this up and try it. And the fact that it has the OxyClean stuff in it, I thought was really neat. You see, I sound so stuffy right now. I'm sorry. The next thing I picked up I thought was really neat. It's a bath soap pouch. 
So it's got this little drawstring thing and you're supposed to put your bar of soap down on the inside and being in this little loofah type thing is supposed to make it lather well and then help you to hold on to your soap more easily in the shower. And I just thought that was a really cute idea and I thought I would give that a try. And the last thing I picked up I'm kind of concerned about because I don't typically get things from the Dollar Tree that you put in your body. <coughs> Bless me. I don't typically get things from the Dollar Tree that I put like in my body or any topical type things usually, but I really was curious to try this dazzling white teeth pen, like tooth whitening pen. I have my professional whitening kit from the dentist that I use every now and again, but it's just annoying to have to wear those trays. Um, and I really like the idea of being able to paint it on and just see if it actually works. And as far as the ingredients goes, got water, alcohol, PEG8, whatever that is, PVP, and hydrogen peroxide. So I'm assuming the ingredients are comparable to other whitening pens. And I thought I might give it a try. So if you guys are interested in seeing me do a dedicated video about this and whether or not it works, let me know in the comments below uh, because I would definitely do that for you guys. So again, I am so sorry that I sound so stuffy and stopped up. I hopefully just won't sneeze my entire way through every video because I've got like a bunch of videos to make today. But I thought I would share with you guys what I picked up from the Dollar Tree. We go there at least once a week. Hopefully you enjoyed this haul. Let me know if you like Dollar Tree hauls. Since I am there so often, it would not be hard for me to make these on a regular basis. So if you like Dollar Tree hauls and you want to see more, give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure you let me know in the comments if you want me to do a dedicated review about whether or not this pen works. I've seen it in the Dollar Tree for years and I just never have picked it up. So if you guys have been curious and you want me to be your guinea pig, then let me know in the comments below. Make sure if you are not subscribed to my channel that you do so because I have videos about all different types of topics that come up every single week. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye.